Yo, yo, what's happening? Whoop! What? Hi! I hope you're very, very well, and I... I'm glad that you clicked on this video. Thank you. From the heart of my bottom, I wanted to do a video about my unpopular theatre opinions. So I know I'm alone in some of these. Please don't come for me. Please don't send me hate mail or like poop in a bag outside my door and set it on fire so I have to stamp on the bag and put out the poop and stand in the poop. Please don't do that. <laughs> Could you imagine if somebody actually did that though? Anyway, yeah, let's jump into it, ma. Woo! Unpopular theatre opinion number one, I hate Hamilton. I'm joking, obviously. I know, I'm a comedy genius. I'll hold for applause. <laughs> I live for the applause, applause, applause. God, I'm so hyper. Okay, real life. First theatre opinion that you will probably disagree with me on. I really like Anna Kendrick in the last five years. I know people hate her. I don't know why. I think she's got a great voice. I think she's a really good Kathy. I think she's funny. I really liked her book. I got her book for Christmas last year and I literally read it on the train home. Do you know what? I might reread that. It was su such an interesting book and I respect her as a performer and her and Jeremy Jordan are something wonderful to see. So when people are mean about her, it makes me upset because I think she's really good in it. I don't understand why people dislike her. I'm just confused. I don't get it. Okay, my second theatre opinion. I think that Wicked should always be sung in an American accent. I love Wicked in London. I really, really enjoy it. Whenever I see it, I enjoy it. But I hate the fact that they sing in an English accent. It just annoys me. I think because the original is in American and to me it just sounds like it fits so much better. I just prefer it in American. And I think like we're supposed to be in this world of Oz and Oz is American to me. Oz is a state of America to me, okay? There's 51 states and one is Oz. I think it's just because I'm English and I'm like, ugh, 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 the English accent. Whereas I'm like, oh yeah, I love an American accent. I think that's probably why. You know, I'm willing to overlook it whenever I go and see Wicked in London, but it still annoys me. Ugh. Okay, my next unpopular theatre opinion is that I like Shrek the Musical. I really enjoy it. I know that people are like, it's a novelty show, it's rub it. I don't care, I like it. I think that it is great. The only song I don't like is the one when they fart all the time. The I think I got you beat, I think I got you beat. Is that the one where they fart? I don't know. I just think that like, like farts are funny sometimes. <laughs> but like, it's a Broadway show. Sutton Foster, fake farting on stage, just feels like a sin to me. But everything else I love, Freak Flag, is a tune. Who I'd be is a tune. I know it's today is a tune. The next one I think people are gonna really disagree with me on. And this is that. <laughs> I'm actually kind of scared to say it. I really didn't enjoy Imelda Staunton in Gypsy. I can't believe I just said that out loud on the internet. I've seen the DVD of it, and I've also seen her in real life do it. And don't get me wrong, she was okay, but she wasn't like this amazing version of Mama Rose that like nobody's ever seen before and she brought everyone to tears. I was just a bit like, yeah, she did a good job. I wasn't blown away. And people were like, it's the performance that's made her career. She was astounding. And I'm like, Really? I didn't think that she brought anything new to the role, personally. My next one is that I love Cats the Musical. I don't care, I think it's great. I know that there's not a story. There's not really supposed to be a story. And I think that that's fine. I love the set, I love the songs, I love the dancing, the costumes, and I love Andrew Lloyd Webber. And I know people tend to not really love him, and I do. So there, and I wanna be Mungo Jerry, okay? When I was younger, I used to fancy Rum Tum Tugger lots. Yep. <laughs> Confession time! My next unpopular theater opinion is that I do not really like Adina Menzel's voice anymore. I used to really like her. I still like her in like the Rent film, but I just don't rate her as much as I used to. It's not like a hatred or anything. Just not the same as like the little wicked 16 year old fangirl was obsessed. With. My next one is that I hate the Les Mis film. I think it's awful. When it first came out, I think that like the staginess in me was like, Amy, you really need to like this. And I remember I went to the cinema and everybody clapped at the end. I was like, that was amazing, but I still never cried. When Anne Hathaway sang I Dreamed a Dream, I did not cry, but I was like, yeah, that was good. But like, I don't like the film, really. I think Hugh Jackman's accent is all over the place. Like, he's supposed to be English, and then sometimes he's American. Well, I don't even know what he's intending. Is he intending to be English or American? At one point he goes, 
is there another way to go? Which is like such a northern accent. He doesn't have a northern accent the rest of the film. And I think he does a good job other than that. Don't even get me started on Russell Crowe. I love Eddie Redmayne in it. I do obviously love Aaron Tveite in it and Samantha Barks, but everybody else is a bit meh for me personally. Sorry, sorry about that. Please don't hate me. These are just my opinions. And then my last one is that bootlegs are really, really bad and I would never bootleg. But secretly I'm very, very thankful to the people who do bootleg for us. I don't think that's unpopular though. I think everybody thinks that really. <laughs> Even those people on Tumblr who are like, no, bootlegs are awful, and then they go and watch them. Really, guys? Really? Anyway, there we have it. That is my unpopular theatre opinions. Let me know all of your unpopular theatre opinions down below, and let's start a conversation. Let's have a chat. Let's be best friends. <laughs> Anyway, I will see you soon. I love you a lot. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for watching. It means a huge, huge, huge amount to me. And please give it a thumbs up so I know that you love me. Otherwise, I'll sit alone in my room and I'll cry. <laughs> what is wrong with me? I think I've had too much sleep, that's why. Anyway, I'll see you soon. I love you a lot. Bye.